back to Comic-Ed. Uh, last week we brought you a uh, episode that basically showed you the basics of comic book collecting. Uh, we're going we're to do some uh, segments to kind of uh, go a little bit more further in detail on those on that, that, that episode. Uh, first off, what do you collect? Well, let me tell you first off, what I collect are my favorite heroes. Green Lantern, Spider-Man, Wolverine, She-Hulk, Doctor Strange, Howard the Duck, Spider-Woman, but those are my picks. Um, how did I get to that point? Well, um, for me, growing up, I knew who Spider-Man was. Spider-Man was pretty cool. Uh, even as a little kid, you know something about some hero, whether it be Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, you know, Wonder Woman. So that's where you start. Just kind of catch that book. Uh, the hero that you're familiar with and kind of check those out once you do you go into your local comic book store and uh, Kind of just check out their wall check out their back issues see if anything pops um, we went over how uh, Comic book covers can attract you to a book um, This is kind of a popular uh, cover to this, to this amazing spider-man uh, this immediately drew me to this comic right here. Um, unfortunately, the story sucks, but it's kind of a hit and miss. Watch if you have little kids or if you're like me, you just like to watch cartoons, check out some of the cartoons. Um, I know nothing about Wolverine until the uh, 1990 X-Men cartoon series came out. He quickly became one of my favorite characters. I found out that he had the title, and that's where I started with Wolverine. Um, for Green Lantern, Green Lantern came late for me, honestly. Um, I was always intrigued with the character, like on Super Friends, but there was nothing really promoting him. He was always kind of like this back-end B-list character. Uh, it wasn't until Jeff Johns came in and revamped the character. Um, and that's pretty much where I came in at. Uh, Let's see, with Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange was one of those uh, I read in older Spider-Man comics. Um, I loved the fact that he was like this wizard magician character. Immediately attracted to that, started reading Doctor Strange. Um, She-Hulk, I'll admit She-Hulk came to me when I was uh, around 13. We'll just go from there. She was pretty cool. Um, she was like, you know, she was, she's the cooler cousin of the Incredible Hulk. And, and she, you know, Female character related to the guys a lot. Same with Spider Woman. Um, Howard the Duck. Uh, I mentioned cartoons. Movies are another awesome way to learn about superheroes. Howard the Duck, I watched the movie when I was younger, found out there was a comic book, read the comics, loved the comics. I liked the movie. That's me. Um, perfect way, like I said, we'll go down the list. Who you know, you know. Um, TV shows, movie, if you have kids, they may be able to tell you. Avengers is a perfect example. Avengers has so many characters, and each of those characters have individual titles. Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Scarlet Witch, Hawkeye, they all have their own individual titles. So if there's a certain character you like more than the other in the Avengers, check out their individual title. So... Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up for right now. Make sure you come back next week for another installment of Comic Book Collecting 101. <laughs>
If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.